Hey guys, today I am so excited. I'm talking about the new Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Palette. So this palette is limited edition for the holidays. It is 67 Canadian dollars or 54 US dollars. And it comes with seven shades that are 0.1 ounce or 2.8 grams each. This palette also has like a fire and ice theme. So it's got the frosty cool highlighting shades and also the warm highlighting shades the description of like the formula it's the cream powder hybrid formula um hyper metallic they're described as and they're supposed to make all skin shades pop i'm most excited for that middle shade stone cold it looks gorgeous i just wanted to like put it all over my body so five of these shades have a more like glittery feel and then these these two at the bottom are more of like a satin look to them just in the pan and i can already tell just by looking at these that i probably i mean i don't know i guess i've never tried like this blue can really pull that off probably not but just gonna try for fun anyways i just want to talk about the packaging for a minute um, it is cardboard packaging, cardboard with a magnet. Um, it's kind of seems a little flimsy. I don't know, just like when it's on regularly, this top can like shift back and forth, just like that. And like, I don't know, when you open it, you I feel like I'm gonna break it. It just feels like a little top heavy. And then it's just this tiny, I mean, who's gonna be letting it flop around like that? But just something to take note of. So here are the swatches. From left to right, we have Sub-Zero, Scandal Ice, Chills, Honey Slow, Stone Cold, Heartburn, and Coppin Ice. They all feel really like creamy powdery when I touch them with my fingers. Um, not so much, which shade is it? Chills, yeah. Chills, not so much creamy. Um, it feels just like a bit gritty in my fingers, but it looks pretty on the skin. All the other ones just feel really nice. Now I'm gonna put these on my face because honestly, that's what really matters. I'm just gonna have fun with this because there's seven shades and I really wanna try them all somewhere on my face. Um, I'm not going anywhere, so that's fine. First, I wanna try Stone Cold because that's the one I'm just so excited for. That's going on my cheek. That gets a good spot. I am just going in. I'm not holding back. That looks pretty. It doesn't go on my skin how I expected. In the pan, it looks more like neutral kind of champagne-y tone, I guess. I'm really good at describing colors. Um, but on my skin, it has more of like a bluey kind of shift. It is very pretty. I'm gonna use the same brush. I cleaned it off. It's good to go. Um, on this side, I kind of, I wanna try this shade here, Cop and Ice. It will likely be too dark for me, but I'm not going anywhere, so that's okay. Okay, I put a lot on and it kind of bunched up. This one I'm finding it's a little bit hard for me to blend. I don't know, depending on how, like what angle you look at my skin, it looks a bit blotchy. Like if you look, I wonder if you can see, if you look head on, it looks kind of like splotchy. I mean, definitely too dark for my skin. That's probably part of it, but still it should kind of like blend a bit more. It seemed kind of like once you put it down, it's not moving anywhere. Um, but if you like move it around, it's got a nice, pretty warm, coppery shift to it. But ugh, looking at it head on, I don't like it. I think this will look better on my eyes anyways. I just really wanted to see how it would look. Okay, I'm gonna take this one here, the shade Chills, and I'm gonna put that on my nose. Oh, that's a lot, I should probably actually tap that off. This one is pretty, this formula, this is the one that I said wasn't as creamy. This one's like going everywhere. It's pretty dusty and fluffy. Did you see on my nose? It's a nice blue shift. I wouldn't probably put this on my nose again, but on my cheeks, I think it would look nice. This one definitely looks more glittery on my skin. 
I don't know where else I can highlight. I'm gonna take this shade here, this top one, Scandalize. Going to put that above my lip. Can you even see what I'm doing? That is a really pretty shade. I'm gonna take Heartburn. I don't really wanna put this one on my face. I'm just gonna try it with my brush on the back of my hand and see how it works with a brush. That actually looks like the formula looks really nice. I don't think the shade would work out too well on my skin though. Maybe it was like a bronzer kind of topper, but it's still a bit too red for a bronzer topper for me. The formula, it's like no, it's like a nice no glitter, sheer, glowy formula. It's pretty. Finally, I have Sub-Zero and honestly, I don't know what to do with you. Just for fun, I'm gonna put it on this cheek here over top of Stone Cold. So take a nice look at Stone Cold before uh, we go over it. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this. Oh. Not for me so far. Okay, from the front, not super appealing. From the side, it kind of looks cool. Um, I would never wear that as a highlighter though. But I mean, I could have told you that just by looking at it. It's not your fault, Sub-Zero. Really just wanted to give it a go and see what would happen. And uh, exactly what I thought happened, happened. Maybe let's try the eyes. I'm gonna try the eyes now. I'm gonna put Coppin' Ice on my eyelid with my finger because honestly, that's just the only way that it'll look how I want it to look. Okay, that is beautiful. That's just with my finger, no glitter glue, nothing. Is that not beautiful? Looks like, okay, it's kind of sloppy because I just did it with my finger, but it looks like a kind of a nice put together look and it's just that shade tapped on sloppily with my finger. I'm gonna try Stone Cold on this eye. That, this is stone cold. Also really pretty, not as pigmented as I would have liked it to apply, but that is just with my finger. I feel like glitter glue would make that like a hundred times better. So I look really good now. Oh, I forgot to apply. I forgot to apply Honey Slope with a brush anywhere. I'm gonna try it on my other hand. So that's Honey Slope on my hand with a brush. Okay, just to summarize my thoughts on these shades so far. Okay, Stone Cold in the middle there, definitely my favorite shade in the whole palette. Um, it's got that perfect formula of like, not too glittery, not too metallic. It's like a mixture of kind of everything in one. It complements my skin tone really well. I'll definitely continue to wear that. These two shades up here are more of that like glittery formula. Um, a bit more on the dusty side. I think this one's a bit dustier, but they're both a little bit kind of like a dusty glittery kind of highlight formula. Okay, these two shades here, Heartburn and Honey Slope, have a beautiful formula. No glitter whatsoever, a nice creamy metallic glowy sheen, beautiful. This, I don't think I would use it on my face just because of my skin tone. I'm sure it would look beautiful on deeper skin tones. Same with this one. This one, I can probably pull it off, but uh, probably would have to use a bit of a lighter hand. This shade up here, Sub-Zero. I mean, as you can see, I, there's just no way that this is meant to be a highlighter on my face. Not my skin tone. I mean, look. <laughs> the formula is nice. It's kind of that half glittery, half metallic formula, um, but the shade on my skin makes me look a little bit too icy so maybe like it just makes me look gray and i don't really like it but honestly i didn't expect to like it on my skin i just wanted to try it out for fun because i've never tried a highlighter of that shade on my skin before i thought it'd be fun finally cop and ice again probably too intense for me i did have troubles like blending that out on my skin it kind of stuck down to where my brush hit initially and I couldn't get it looking super nice. But that was likely because of the contrast against the dark copper shade against my skin. Again, probably beautiful on deeper skin tones, but I can't say for sure. But as you can see, 
beautiful on the eyes. This is all I have on this one eye, just pat it on with my finger and look how good it looks. So even though I can't use all of these shades as a highlighter on my skin tone, definitely still glad I bought it. I mean, just because it says it's a highlighter palette doesn't mean I can't put this on my eyes. It'll work for me. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say about this palette. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're interested in trying it or if it's the last thing on your list. I want to hear it. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!